Here are my top 10 camera gift ideas for vloggers this holiday season. Gift idea number one is a SD card holder. Now I've used a bunch of different uh, card holders over the years and some are better than others. I've used some of the small zip up ones that have the little plastic sleeves and those tend to tear. This is a real affordable hard uh, case one, but it's a little bit tight and sometimes it's hard getting cards in and out. And I worry that with the cards that I might accidentally split a card open or break it, just putting it in and out. By far the best card holder that I have is gonna be this one by Pelican. They make really good solid cases. It's strong, I'm not worried about breaking it and the cards fit just right. Number two is going to be a Gorillapod. These are really great for mounting your camera, being able to vlog. You can wrap it around things. You can use it as a grip, you know, to hold the camera and stuff, just really all around versatile. I also use them for my lights and stuff. Now this one here is the 5K. Uh, they also make it in smaller versions like the 3K and the 1K. But if you go for the 3K route, I recommend going for the 3K Pro and not for the regular 3K. Just ask this guy whose camera popped off right in front of me and he almost lost his camera. I share a similar story in a previous video. The 3K Pro is definitely much better built than the 3K. And number three is the Temba camera bag inserts. Now there are a lot of people who like to have the dedicated backpacks for cameras and that's fine for me personally. I find them to be bulky. I have yet to find one that is actually comfortable to wear. And probably the worst thing is that wearing it around, it just screams, hey, I have camera gear, expensive gear, come rob me. Whereas I like to go a little bit more like subtle. And so I prefer to wear a regular backpack that is comfortable. And then I get one of these Temba bags to put my camera in to protect the camera. And then this is an insert into a regular backpack. Now I have two different versions of this. I have one that opens from the top for a, a top entry backpack. And then I also have one that opens up for a front load backpack as well, but definitely recommend these. And number four is SD cards. Shooting video takes up a lot of space and we need big memory cards. Now there's a lot of different cards. Some are fast, some are slow. Some have recording limits, which we definitely don't want when we're uh, shooting video. And so I recommend going for the SDXC because they don't have a recording limit. I really like the Lexars and I like the Sony uh, cards as well. And now this is a UHS-2 card. And what that means is that on the back, there are two rows of terminals, which allows you to read and write to this card faster, especially if you have a camera that supports this. If you don't have a camera that supports this, you could still use the card. It only will use one set of the terminals and so it won't be quite as fast. When it comes time to transfer the files to your computer, you can use a card reader that uses this and it will transfer a lot faster. And number five are the Samsung T7 SSD external drives. Now, these are super, super small and really easy to pack, very lightweight compared to some of the other uh, external drives that you can get on market. They're perfect for traveling. And number six is the Aperture MC RGB lights. These are cool little lights that you can actually change the color on. They're super compact and it's just a useful tool for being able to light up something that I'm taking a picture of uh, to give it accent colors or just a touch of light. Or if I'm shooting some macro and I just need a light to kind of grab and light up an area, you can adjust the colors, you can, adjust the intensity, the white balance on them, just super useful lights. I have a couple of these and find them super handy. And number seven is ND filters. If you're shooting video outside and it is really bright and you want to get that blurry background, the shallow depth of field look, then you're gonna have to have some sunglasses for your camera. This is a variable ND filter. So as I turn it, it adjusts how much light it lets through so that you could change it and make adjustments depending on the conditions. Now, I think that right now, I would actually go for the Freewell uh, variable ND filters because I think that they provide uh, really good quality to value because ND filters can get really, really expensive. If you were on a really tight budget, then you could also look into ones like this that's Hoya and stuff, or I mean, you can get up into you know even more uh, expensive ones from Polar Pro. 
And number eight, camera companies really like to rip us off when it comes to battery chargers. A lot of times they won't even include a battery charger when you buy an expensive camera and then they want you to pay. 50, 60, $70 for a flipping camera charger, that's completely ridiculous. And then if you have multiple cameras, it, it just all adds up. So what I recommend is this battery charger from Watson. And what I like about this is that it includes these plates that are removable and you can buy different plates depending on the battery that you need to charge. And that way you're just swapping out plates, which costs like two, $3 for a plate instead of $50 for a whole new charger and I can charge two batteries at the same time and it has a you know digital readout giving the status of the charges and stuff like that. Just a, been a really solid uh, charger that I really like. And number nine is a power brick charger. Now these are really nice because you can charge this up and then you can use this to like recharge several different devices. Another thing that I really like is if I'm traveling and I wanna shoot, leave a GoPro at the hotel and maybe shoot a time lapse you know, looking out at the city and have a really long time lapse, then this is really useful because I will just hook up the GoPro to this and that way there's constant power. I don't have to worry about the battery running out. And number 10 is a shotgun microphone for your camera. Audio quality is really important and upgrading to a better microphone could really make a huge difference. Now I have a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus uh, shotgun microphone that I can use with my cameras. I also have a shotgun microphone made by Sony specifically for Sony cameras. But the microphone that I would go for if I were buying right now would be the Deity D3 Pro microphone. I think it just offers a lot of value at a better price than the Video Mic Pro Plus, And you can use it with a bunch of different cameras, not just with Sony, like with my Sony microphone. Now go out and make some videos and I will see you in the next one. Late.